cream trucks are typically known for their sweet treats and the smiles that follow. Not for running red lights, parking at fire hydrants, and blocking crosswalks. Well, that's terrible because if kids are running towards ice cream trucks but they're not stopping or they're not stopping at the red lights or a stop sign, they can get run over. According to Mayor Bill de Blasio's office, 46 truck drivers were doing just that and then scamming their way out of paying $4.5 million in fines. It's not only the money, it's the deterrence factor. The summonses act as a deterrence. If there's no deterrence, then there's no reason to follow any of the traffic laws. The owners avoided paying fines by transferring ownership of the trucks between dozens of fake companies. They were caught when the Department of Finance tried to collect those debts and learned the companies didn't exist. The driver of Pete's Ices says he doesn't want this to give all ice cream trucks a bad name. He says obeying traffic laws is crucial, especially when children are involved. You put out your signs as slow children crossing and can't control how kids run, but I've been doing this 21 years and I've never had a kid get hurt while I've been working. And parents agree, saying truck drivers need to be extra cautious. Maybe they just have to be a little more careful. It's also a lot of money for the city. The worst offenders are drivers, each with more than $10,000 in fines. In Long Island City, Nina Kapoor, CBS2 News.